news. What Olusegun Obasanjo said about Nigeria that has been causing serious reaction. Olusegun Obasanjo, Nigerians' former uh, president from 1999 to 2007, when Nigeria came back into, you know, um, in the, when Nigeria came back to democracy, guess what? Um, he has he was there for eight years, and afterwards he left. But before he left, do you know the funniest thing? Do you know some of the things that happened? Olusegun Obasanjo um, had opportunity to change the constitution, to which we are, uh, you know, all asking today that this constitution, this fraudulent constitution, be re-amended. Yeah, I mean, be I mean, be scrapped, and a new one come together. You know, be put together all together. But they said they want to amend it. Now this is what is going on truly. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigeria is a complex country, says Obasanjo. Former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, last night said Nigeria is a complex country, but more difficult to manage. If the citizens are honest, he said an individual could not provide the solution to the nation's challenges, adding that the collective effort of all Nigerians are required to address the problem. The elder statesman spoke with reporters shortly after he received the People Democratic Party PDP presidential aspirants and River State Governor Newsom Wiki or your state governor Sheyi Makinde is Benway State counterpart Samuel Otom, former governor of Cross River State, Donna Duke, and others in his penthouse within the Sparrow, within the spares of Olusegun Basanjo Presidential Library (OOPL), Abiokuta, Ogun State, the capital. Wiki visited the ex-president in continuation for his consultation across the sixth zone political zone regarding him being re being elected as Nigerian's president. Obasanjo, who acknowledged Wiki's courage in the way he pursued his ambition, reminded his guests that he had long ceased being a peasant politician, but noted that he would continue to seek the welfare of Nigerians. He said if Nigeria enthroned the basic ingredients that will bring unity and inclusiveness, all other things would take their position to help remove conflict and the country will be able to resolve insecurity and other problem. Wiki said zoning was in the, in the constitution of the PDP and in line with the nation's constitution that also provide for fairness and equality, adding that the party has thrown its presidential ticket open and he was prepared to go through with the primary elections. He said, I am confident that I have I have what it takes to win the People Democratic Party primaries and also win the general election. I pledge to work for the unity, stability and security of this country and Nigeria. Wiki has pleaded, asking the delegates stands with him and support him in every way. So this is exactly what is going on. This is some of the things that are happening right now. You know, these are you know, these are things that are going on. Lucia Gobasanjo, you know, reiterated that Nigeria is a difficult country. Mm, it is a difficult country. But as difficult as it is, there are still solutions around those corridors. Okay? As difficult as it is that you may say, well, oh, things are not working. There are still things that could be done to solve the situation. So this is what Obasanjo is saying, that something can truly be done. If everybody put hands to work, if everybody comes together, you know, and, you know, uh, uh, you know begin to highlight those points and those factors and begin to state again that, uh, you know, this is what we need to do, then, you know, we will be, we'll be clear, we'll, be, we'll have a clear cut definition on what really happened. You know, so these are days that are upon us and everybody needs to begin to reevaluate their position where they stand because sincerely and truly speaking, where we are at the moment calls for serious call for concern. Okay, uh, we, we, it has become, you know, what, um, what uh, Nigerians need to reevaluate, what Nigerians need to consider. Everything that is happening is clear indications of where we've been. And Lucia Gwabasanjo is telling the delegates that came that indeed,
enshrined in the People Democratic Party, uh, you know, uh, enshrined in the Constitution of People Democratic Party, there is the possibility for zoning. And even in Nigeria, he said it is there, although not constitutionally written down, but it's a silence, you know, uh, occurrence that goes on. Yeah, it goes on silently and people must respect it. Okay, so Wiki was there, uh, Sheima Kinde was there, others were there, the People Democratic Party, so Soli sits with one of their own to be, you know, Samuel Lutom was also there, okay, making consultations and seeing how they can possibly, you know, reenact or, you know, reinstate their position and get the people to stand right behind them. So these are some of the days upon us and what we need to do to ensure that we come out of this current, you know, maliciousness and all that is going on. You know, the current political situation and all that is staring us up in the face is clear indications of where we've been and where we're going. Are we ready to really make, you know, a, a real a real definition? Are we ready to, you know, go go on to, to ensure that things are really transformed? Okay, are we ready to go on to make sure that things are transformed? Because the what I mean by that is we will be the ones to choose and um, it depends on who we choose, honestly. Okay, no matter how bad and how collapsed things are, yeah, no matter how terrible things are, if you have the right person, some things can still be savile and saved from that very situation and from that very kind of position. If only, you know, you can put your hands to work and say, you know what, let's get this thing done. Okay, if only something can be done about it. I mean, you can begin to, you go, uh, we can begin to, re, you know, uh, uh, re, re-establish Okay, that's, you know, this is what we want, this is where we've been, and this is what we could do to alter the course of what is on ground. Because clearly speaking, you know, this nation, the soul of this nation is being fought for once again, and that will determine who will become the leader going forward. So every one of us have got a duty, okay, a duty to ensure that we do not allow, okay, the same set of people who are malicious, who all they want is something for themselves to be to be to be to be leading this country we don't want such we don't want it in any way form or kind okay and that's why get your pvc ready do everything you can to possibly vote for the candidate of your choice above all let's pray about it okay so those are one of the things that we need to reconsider and put in place so that at the end of the day we are better people and we are working forward for what could possibly you know change the course of this nation and make us a better people Okay, these are some of the things we must consider. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Let's speak out against everything and anything that will not move us forward. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye.